Good morning. It is June 10th, Thursday, 5.13 in the morning. Just finishing up my run. Checking in again with the family. It's nice that you come and visit me. See how I'm doing. Thank you for that. Whew. Just cooling down. Soaking up the brights. Taking in the fresh air. Oh. Oh. Today I want to talk about uh, this nice uh, antidote. Antidote? Anti I gotta look that word back. Not antidote. Antidote? Antidote? Anyway, it's a quick little saying that I heard that I've been thinking about and it's all about falling down. Anyway, the, the term says uh, if you fall down, because everybody will. So when you fall down, fall don't fall down face down. When you fall down, fall down face up because then you know how to get up. Sounds a little corny, I know. But when you fall down, fall down face down. Don't fall down face down. Fall down face up so that you know how to get up after you've fallen. And there's so many ways. What's happening now is uh, I'm falling in the sense of I'm still sticking with, sticking with my my goals and still sticking with my routine. But my schedule, <laughs> my schedule is falling all all around me. And I just gotta keep keep my head up and know that I'm probably on a plateau right now. And in George Leonard's book, The Ma Mastery, he talks about plateaus and uh, the master's journey is a 90% is plateaus. And if you learn to stay on the plateau, uh, you know that progress is just up ahead. Because progress is not linear, right? It doesn't go straight up. It goes up and then it hits a plateau. But as you stick with it, as you just work through it, let the automatic processes, the ones that you had to put your mind to, you just keep at it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Eventually that activity that you needed all that mind work for, uh, it shifts it over into the automatic zone, which leaves an open spot for uh, progress or, or new things to be put into that spot in your brain. So, yep, just staying on that plateau the plateau also goes down a little bit too at times i think that's where we're at right now it is what it is i'm not negative about it i'm not excited about it obviously um, but a, a little encouragement you know it comes when i never expected it but i was uh got up this morning stepped on the scale and I'm back to that low weight that I was at the big, at the middle of last month. So I was about five pounds heavier. I weigh myself exactly the same time every day. Uh, so I was about five, four pounds heavier yesterday. Three pounds heavier yesterday. But this morning I woke up, I jumped on the scale. Here's my mile. I jumped on the scale and uh, yeah. I was happy. Look down. I gotta be careful though, remember? I gotta be careful about defining defining what makes me happy. Defining what makes me happy about my weight loss is not a number. So I have to just keep myself in check and remember that it's not the number that I'm after. Then again, the number is very encouraging. Um, because Honestly, my intake has gone up because I'm at home more. Since I'm at home, I'm not at work, I'm not out. When I'm, when I'm out, I'm not eating, right? When I'm out, I'm teaching, 
when I'm out, I'm on the bike, and so I'm not thinking about eating. So now I'm home a lot, and so my intake is a lot more. So I just have to be very, very careful. And me playing devil's advocate with myself, <laughs> I think I haven't been going to the gym either. So part of that weight loss could be, could be muscle loss a little bit because those muscles that I'm using for deadlifts and overhead presses and uh, bench press, I think my chest muscles are pretty much where they, where they are. Uh, my backs and all these other muscles that I've normally been using regularly at the gym, uh, going through a slight phase of atrophy right now because I'm not using them as much. And so part of me wants to say some of that weight loss is it is because of that it's not that easy. so anyway a little bit of a down period a little bit of falling period but falling down face up so that I just know the way to get back up and that way is just to keep busy keep my routine going as best of my ability extenuating circumstances I can't control that so I'm gonna just keep doing what I can and sticking to the plan that I made for myself Part of that plan is my last set of push-ups. So here we go. That is my fourth set of 25 reps, which brings it to a grand total of 100. So today is June 10th. I've done 100 push-ups since June 10th, so uh, from June 1st. So I've done 1,000 push-ups this month. Yay! Probably more because it's not the only time we do push-ups because I'm at home so much. All right, Jesse. Love you. Keep it up. And aloha.